Okay, these murder hornets are all over the news. Everyone's talking about it. I mean, there are so many memes about these murder hornets right now. A lot of people are upset that they're not being called by their actual name, and that's Asian hornets. Well, these Asian hornets are invading the world. Well, they've kind of just recently reached to America, and they cross north of the border illegally, invading BC, the West Coast. And these Asian hornets are invading honeybees. And you know what? Just for this video, I'm going to be calling these guys the murder hornets because it just sounds so much more terrifying. And there was actually a recent video posted online of a murder murder hornet killing a rat i mean absolutely insane and also on top of you know the virus going around right now these murder hornets going around right now and simpsons predicting all of it there's another bug in town i mean can we say hello to the asian gypsy moth well how's it going you guys i'm your host for this one landon do not sing and welcome back to another most missing top 10 video so the previous video of this got a lot of views and a lot of you guys want more information about it and uh just scouring the web there's so much more on these murder murder hornets to talk about. So I'm like, okay, we couldn't fill it all in one video in the first part of this one. So we're making another one, but if you guys missed the first part, make sure you guys click to the side and get caught up with the first one and then come back to this one. And apparently these murder hornets are slowly making its way down to Ontario where I live. And I'm absolutely terrified, but I guess luckily uh, we're kind of stuck at home and I, I don't think a murder hornet is gonna be able to make it into my basement. I, I, don't, I don't think so, but, but those moths, Somehow those moths always appears in people's underwear drawers. All right, so let's get right into this video. This is the top 10 scary murder hornet facts you need to know part two. And make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna be replying to some of your guys' comments from previous videos. I'm actually taking the comments from part one of this video. So starting us off, number 10 is they start to hunt in April, which is why we've been seeing them, yeah, in April. So they can very well be the reason why that they're popping up now, why everyone's talking about them now. But luckily the murder hornets, or should I start calling this thing the Asian giant hornets? Well, luckily it isn't a threat all year long. Well, that's a really good must know fact about the murder hornets. They will eventually go away. They remain relatively dormant through the winter. I mean, it's too cold for them, just like it's too cold for us so we hibernate inside. But they do start seeking food starting in April. During the late summer and the fall is when they're at their most aggressive. During this time, their body color becomes intense and the weight of the queen increases by about 20%. They are most likely to go to the honeybee colonies during this time. Well, let's hope we don't see these guys into the fall. I don't think we can handle getting to level eight or nine of this Jumanji game. Number nine, where there is smoke, there is fire. What do I mean by that? Well, one bee can't just exist on its own. They typically have nests with anywhere from 500 to 1500 murder hornets. So the whole worry that they've been found in the US is actually quite scary because if you see one, yeah, there's probably like 499 right behind you. Next up, number eight, they prefer low forested areas. While it's currently unclear how these Asian giant hornets came to North America, well, the area they've been spotted in makes sense. They prefer to live in low altitude forests and mountains and build underground nests. Just like I mentioned in the first video, the underground nests is to make them invisible. I mean, these are advanced species we're talking about here. Bees make hives in trees where bears and other animals can access them. Building a hive underground I mean, this is next level. And you probably won't find these insects in high altitude areas or open plains. So it's time to get to higher ground. So hide your kids, hide your wife. It's time to get to higher grounds. Next up, number seven on this list, they have been cited to have a human death rate of roughly 50 people per year. So all of you guys who are saying, oh my God, is this real life right now? All these people are afraid of these giant hornets. I mean, they can't harm you. Well, uh, 50 people per year sounds like people dying. However, in 2013, parts of the world China, they experienced a notable exception to the hornet's typical disinterest in humans when swarms killed 42 and injured more than 1,600 reported in Madison Park and Dayu Zhang and Elizabeth Landu of CNN at the time. Okay, that's absolutely insane when you think about that 1,600 people were injured. I mean, maybe we should be a little bit more afraid of these things. Number six brings you to multiple stings. Well, the advice that people are giving in China is that people stung more than 10 times should seek medical help and you're gonna need emergency treatment for more than 30 stings. And remember that I said that they travel in like packs of 500? So 30 stings, it sounds very plausible. Deaths have occurred as a result of multiple organ failures, and this is typically after a large number of stings. Those who died on average were stung about 59 times. I mean, that's a pretty precise number, but you know what, let's move on. We're halfway through this list right now. Number five, we got, just like other bees, there is a queen bee and workers and drones. I don't 
really need to explain what the queen bee is. I was researching bees for this and queen bees are intense. Usually there's like three to five queen bees born and they have to fight each other to the death to become the best and the strongest queen. So when the queens are born, they're born at a huge disadvantage. So they fight it off, they become victorious and then they don't do anything but watch the beehive. And the drone bees, well, is a male bee, they don't have stingers. And of course, we all know that if you're stung by a bee, the bee does die. You go a little bit of owies, you won't really die from a bee sting, but you definitely don't want to be stung from these murder hornets. Number four, parasites for the win. So normally parasites are pretty gross and no one would be cheering for them. In this case, however, certain parasites can render these murder hornets infertile and unable to reproduce, meaning that they could just die off naturally. Members of the Stylopedia are parasitic insects. Host insects of the family that are affiliated and referred to as being stylopeased. Finally, number three on this list of the top 10 facts about murder hornets you should know. Well, there's some good news. Some bees have figured out a defense systems against these murder hornets. Remember in part one, I was telling you guys that the murder hornets are new to like North America and the bees over here, they have no idea what these creatures are. So they haven't had, you know, hundreds of years to build up a defense mechanism to try to fight them off. Well, it seems like they're slowly learning and some bees have actually figured out this defense system. I mean, most of North American bees are helpless right now. And when a murder hornet wants your beehive, the bee just can't defend itself. Well, Europe and Asia, the bees there have come a very long way. I mean, that's their native land. They know how to defend themselves. They know how to defend their queen. So if a scout from a giant hornet nests find a hive of honeybees, it will swoop in to mark the target with a pheromone that will attract the other giant hornets to tell them, you know, this is the hive to attack. But if the hive is full of Japanese honeybees, the bees will play it cool like nothing is happening until the hornet enters the hive. Then it will swarm the scout and begin vibrating their wings. The vibrating ball of bees generates enough heat and buildup of carbon dioxide inside the ball that it actually cooks and suffocates the hornets. So there's a report that came out on Daily Mail and the title of the article was how Japanese honeybees defend themselves from murder hornets by surrounding them and vibrating their bodies to 116 degrees to cook them to death. Number two on this list, everyone wants to know who named the giant Asian hornet, the murder hornet. Well, Jun Ishii Takahashi, a researcher at Koto Sangyo University in Japan, said the species have earned the murder hornet nickname. Well, it's because it's an aggressive group that can expose victims to doses of toxic venom equivalent to that of a venomous snake. So are you telling me that this giant hornet is like a venomous snake flying, like a venomous snake with wings? Finally, number one, we have murder hornets are a delicacy in Japan. Although hornets are responsible for a percentage of hospital visits in Japan, that doesn't stop them from snacking on these predatory stinging insects. In many Japanese mountain villages, hornets are considered a delicacy, especially hornet larvae. Often eaten either deep fried or raw, hornets provide a huge amount of protein. You you know what, this is protein that I actually don't want. <laughs> well, the grubs are often preserved in jars, pan fried or steamed with rice to make a salivary dish called Hibo Gohan. The adults are fried on skewers, I mean stingers and all, until the body becomes crunchy. Hornet larvae produces a sticky sweet segregation known as Vespa amino acid mixtures or VAAM for short, VAM, which attracts the workers and gives them energy. VAAM is also used in a popular Japanese energy drink every if Red Bull gives you wings, what would a Hornet energy drink give you? Uh, stingers? All right, so you guys made it to the end of this video. It's time to reply or read out your guys' comments from the previous video. Uh, from Spazzle Daughter said, whoever started the Jumanji game needs to finish it. 100% agree with you, buddy. We're on level like seven Jumanji and I don't wanna know what's on level eight. This one came from Bailey. Murder Hornets don't actually like people. They actually eat other insects. Murder hornets just sound so scary to me and uh, I think they are eating people because I'm pretty sure there's those 50 deaths per year that I mentioned. Anna Scott said everyone when lockdown ends, woo, lockdown is over, now we can go outside. Hornets allow us to introduce ourselves. <laughs> Savage. Devin, love how because media, no one is calling them by the real name, the Asian giant hornet. I didn't even know that it was called the Asian giant hornet until like way later. I thought these things original name, like scientific name is murder hornet. <laughs> R3 Melt said, nobody. Me, is this real life right now? 
I think I've been saying that line for like close to 10 years. Abraham said, can this year get any more worse 2020? But wait, there's more. NX Cypher says, hey, at least we've made it to level five of Jumanji. I think we've skipped level five, buddy. I think we're at level like seven or eight by now. I mean, this year has been crazy. Fire Lancer said, that's another one for Apocalypse of Bingo. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure if uh, the game was to clear the whole board, Pretty sure we have a lot of winners right now. Well, that's it for this video. Let me know if I should make a part three in the comment section below. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you all in the next most amazing top 10 video. Make sure you guys stay safe and stay away from murder hornets. Mm -hmm.